Welcome back to the Whiskey Couch here in Pretoria, sunny South Africa, with me Gustav Miller as your host. In this video I'm going to give a summary of the mini-series that I just completed. Three no-age statement peated whiskies, and I did three videos on them, whiskey tasting reviews and I did some food pairings. But in this video, just a short summary and of course my number one pick, my personal favorite out of these three very decent single malts from Scotland. So the first one was the Ben Romac Organic Special Edition and also the PC Scottish Barley Heavily Peated and of course the Talisker Dark Storm. Now the Ben Romac Organic Special Edition matured in virgin American oak casks. Not much information on the PC Scottish Barley, but my guess probably ex-bourbon casks. And then of course the Talisker matured in heavily charred American oak barrels. And you can see the color difference. A little bit darker, the virgin American oak, and quite a bit darker, the heavily charred American oak and then a very light color on the PC Scottish barley. The ABV is a little bit different as well. We've got 43% on the Ben Romac and then 50% uh, on the PC and then 45.8%. So a bit of an alcohol difference. On the nose, what I personally found, the Ben Romac nose sweet fruity peat on the Port Charlotte Scottish barley nose a sweet earthy peat so sweet fruity sweet earthy and then on the Talisker interesting a caramel peat so quite different in terms of the nose even though they are all peated whiskies. My summary for the palette of each of these three Summary on the Ben Romac on the palette, this is my I want another sip dram. That was my summary for the Ben Romac on the palette. For the PC Scottish Barley, my summary on the palette, sweet earthy peat fire mixed with salty sea air. That was my summary for the PC. And my summary for the Talisker Dark Storm, smoked caramel and Pepper Spice. That was my summary for the Talisker Dark Storm. Three very, very decent, no age statement, peated single malts. I paired the Ben Romac with um, White Rock Mango and Ginger Cheese on a cracker. Very, very good pairing for this Ben Romac. And then the other two I paired with Oak smoked salmon or trout pate on a cracker or oak smoked uh, trout fish bites. And I played around a bit on those to, to determine which one works best for which of the whiskies. And eventually I found that the oak smoked trout pate worked better for the talisker. There's a bit of a sweetness in that trout pate which brought a bit of a balance to the spiciness of the talisker and the fish bite was a bit more salty and it brought a bit of a balance for me personally to that Port Charlotte heavily peated Scottish barley. What a very interesting adventure to go through these three whiskies. At the end of the day, considering everything, my personal favorite is the Port Charlotte Scottish Barley Heavily Peated. That is the one that I chose out of these three and I must say with a tiny margin. The middle one win for me. The reason why I chose the Port Charlotte Heavily Peated Scottish Barley is because, uh, or one of the reasons is because of the higher ABV. The 50% alcohol just worked for me. I preferred that uh, it gave me personally a bit of room to maneuver and a bit of room to play with the whiskey, adding a few drops of water 
and adjusting the taste and the flavor profile that that I really enjoyed and of course the food pairing for me personally worked fantastic so this is my summary on these three whiskies mini series that I just completed thank you for joining me on this adventure thank you for subscribing to this whiskey couch YouTube channel and also thank you for inviting your friends to subscribe to our channel. I look forward to see you again soon when I'll be starting with a brand new mini series. So lots of whiskey tasting reviews and food pairings to come. See you soon.